Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So you can see market gradually moving higher and mostly stands inside the range of the passion that we uh, that we've gotten this week on this recent sellout and has followed right on Monday on the comments from the Pelosi and rejection of the stimulus pack. So this gold has dropped and uh, currently market market shows a minor bounce. So, um, as we said previously and for this week, not only on gold, but on other markets as well. So, actually, the Great British Pound, Euro currency, gold market stands on the point that we call as, well, last support, last output for the, outpost for the bulls, uh, where it's there is at least theoretical chances are still possible for a bullish action. So, market keeps chances on possible upward uh, reversal. So, the trap below this area, so on the... Uh, gold, it will be approximately uh, 1880 area. Uh, on the euro currency, also today discussed uh, the support the market stands. It also uh, last 618 support on Great British Pound. Uh, market is trying to hold inside of the butterfly pattern. As you can see, the retracement really deep but still in stands slightly above the lows. It's also keep chance on the possible hour reaction. So on the gold, approximately the same. So market stands at the point where it's very fragile equilibrium between the bullish context and bearish. While we have the bearish passion in general, market is moving higher. And on the intraday charts, there are some not obvious bullish signs that we see currently. Well, maybe they could play some role in uh, uh, today's market performance. But any setup that we have currently, we just can't call as some really very attractive. So it, 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 the setups that we have, actually, you could fall to them and you could try to trade them. But they are kind of the weak setups. So they are not based on some super, uh, some super pattern or some, some really very obvious and clear setups that we usually prefer to trade. Uh, we have some signs. Uh, they are mostly bullish, but... Overall combination of the price actions we have, uh, well, provides weak uh, context for trading. For example, let's take a look what we have on the flow day from chart. The one thing, the first thing that I would like to say, let's not diminish this window by far. Uh, take a look at the overall market reaction on the recent news. So uh, if you remember, this yesterday's was some Biden's probe, as was announced in the uh, news. And that definitely is a sign in favor of the United States dollar. As you can see on the Forex market, you could see a significant plunge down. On the gold market, we do not have it. So market uh, shows the good resistance to this kind of the news. And uh, they make minimal impact on the market. This is indirect, not obvious bullish sign. Second, uh, the grabbers that we have gone here has been erased. It's minor grabbers. This, that last one exists right here. So we discussed yesterday. But this one, both have been raised, the market is moving higher. So just minor action here and the overall butterfly suggestion will be raised as well as the grabber. And probably this really could happen. Take a look here, market could form minor reversal candle. If it will close right at this point, you could see market creates the new lows and will close at the new top. That will be minor reversal candle. But in general, take a look at the MACD. We have the bullish divergence. So here we have downside between the bottoms and here we have upside. Uh, action, high lows. So uh, that this is minimal, some uh, small bullish signs, but both of them stands in favor at points to the bullish context. And that's the reason why we think that, well, theoretical chance still exists that market could do this. So market could show the upward action. It means that currently it's not a good point for taking the short position for bears. It would, it, it would be better to wait for some more Patrons, maybe if market will form some kind of the gutters chip to sell here or something of that sort, keep an eye on the action that this will be. And we have two uh, alternative scenarios. First scenario with our three drive sell pattern, 
this market stands still stands here and trying to move higher. That is the level that's, that's in perfect situation. This market could reach 1950 and complete the third drive potential. So the first drive, second drive, and this could be third. If somehow market will find the power or be supported by some comments, news, headlines, uh, some surprises from the market. Uh, in this case, indeed, that's going to happen. Conversely, the downside breakout and break in 1880 area will tell us that we're going down with our bearish passion, and it's going to be just continuation to the downside, at least the previous lows around 1850. And then we will see what will happen. That's just an scenario. So you can see the overall driving factors, the tools, the technical uh, factors that we have are not superb. They are not, well, something outstanding. And, uh, that you could rely on. But, uh, well, if you feel possible and you would like to try, well, you could do this in general, trying to make the bet on the possible dissection. On the hourly chart, I do not, see, do not see something really interesting. So this is the our XOP previous trade is done. This deep retracement that we discussed yesterday in the market right now, showing the upward reversal. One thing that it's uh, probably will happen, so if, if, if it will be upward continuation here, we probably will see this very strong acceleration. Breakout of this level probably will be fast. It's not that just gradual slowdown action. Here's what we probably will see some uh, thrusting action if it will happen. So, well, maybe using the stop buy order above this top is also you could consider if you'd like to take the long position. Here's guys, my major problem is where to place the stop. So if you, would, for example, will take the position right here on the breakout, where are you put your stops somewhere below these lows, or you will put the stops below this area, so it will be really far. Uh, that's the one, only the tricky moment here um, exists on the gold market as well right now. Well, that's actually what we have currently. So the bearers should sit on the hands by far, because the bullish context still exists. We don't have clear bearish pattern. We have indirect, well, some hidden bullish uh, signs on the market. That really could play its role in today's performance on the market. For the bulls, overall context stands weak. But if you'll try to take the part in this context, you could maybe you could do. But be uh, taken in consideration that in your trade will be some degree of the uh, just gambling. And it's hoping that maybe somebody will tell something today in the evening and this could support the call market. So that's actually the overall situation on the goal that we have.